Hello, my name is Danny Fan, and in this video, I will go over the Pill Dispenser Project for San Diego State University's Mechanical Engineering Senior Design Class of 2019 to 2020. The members of this team consist of Erica Antonio, Tatiana Gonzalez, Karen Morales, Tasha Stevens, and myself. I will be discussing the project overview, requirements, initial design, and final design, then share a demonstration of the device. For individuals with daily prescriptions, sorting pills into weekly pill containers can be a difficult task, especially for those who have upper extremity limitations. There are existing pill dispensers, but they are only capable of dispensing pills during program times throughout the day, rather than all at once into a weekly pill container. These devices also require knowledge of Bluetooth connectivity and programming. Our team has designed a device that will simplify the process of organizing different types of pills and number of pills into these specific days. This battery operated hardwired device will reduce the need for fine motor skills and utilize inputs that are easy for the user to control. This project was set up by Quality of Life Plus and our mentors from this organization are Art Yeager and Anne-Marie Orr. For our requirements, the device needs to sort various pill shapes and sizes ranging from five to 10 millimeters in diameter and 12 to 23 millimeters in length. If a jam were to occur within the device, it should be easy to resolve. The user must be able to set their desired dosage, which can range between one to four pills per medication. There must be confirmation of the dosage set by the user. Before the device dispenses, there must be at least two user inputs. The device must be able to dispense all leftover pills from the medication reservoir to avoid keeping any pills in the device for an extended amount of time. All of our previous designs followed a general format of the pills being poured into a receptacle, funneling into the sorting mechanism that is calibrated by the user, and dispensing into the containers via a ramp. Our initial design was constrained to no motors or sensors. This design restricted the shapes and sizes of pills that the device would be able to dispense, which led to an inaccurate dispensing of the pills that were tested despite the numerous calibration settings. Our final design incorporates the use of motors and sensors. Motors allow for significantly less user inputs to calibrate the device. Sensors allow for greater accuracy of pills being dispensed. The user inputs consist of an adjustable pill size stick to account for the pills of various shapes and sizes. Buttons for days of the week, buttons for number of pills per dosage, including an infinity button to dispense all leftover pills, and a go button to run the device. There is an LED screen that provides instructions to the user. There are lights associated with each button so the user can confirm which dosage will be dispensed. The motors control servo arms that create tracks for the pills to follow, and the sensors determine whether or not the desired number of pills have been reached before stopping more pills from falling onto the track. Here is a demonstration of our device. Then I'm going to select the number of pills from one to four. So I'm going to do two. Then I'm going to select my days of the week, so Sunday through Saturday. So I'm going to do Monday, and I want two pills also on Wednesday. Okay. So now I'm going to hit enter. And now it says dispensing pills, which uh, gets the rotating mechanism going. And now I'm going to input one pill. This guy will light up on the second pill. If you see that, and you come down here real quick, the silver will switch. Now it's going to be one. And then we're going to do two. And then this is off. Due to these unprecedented times, the model seen in the demonstration is very crude. The restrictions set due to the COVID-19 have limited our access to campus and to each other. This limits our fabrication and transferring of parts between each other. As testing continues on the device, components need replacement. While the device is able to perform its functions, it will need some refining before it's ready to be used at home. 
I hope you all stay safe during these times. Thank you all so much for watching.